welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a combination of just a lot of things this morning i got up and actually mixed up sourdough so i have a batch of bread it's two loaves of bread that are rising right now i also have a batch of muffins which i'm really excited to try because i have not tried those before and then i'm also going to be making some pizza crust with the sourdough for dinner this evening so i'm excited to try that as well and i'm having fun playing around with sourdough if you guys haven't noticed in some of my recent videos i've been talking about different forms of like fermented foods so i've been doing kefir and kefir water which is basically like a fizzy soda and when i mentioned it in my last meal prep video you guys commented and said that you really want to know more about that so that may be coming along the line here in the next few weeks um, just sharing a little bit more of how to make that because if you're someone that either is trying to get off of soda or even like seltzer water which is I love seltzer water I drink it all the time but you want really great probiotics and stuff that you can make naturally and for really inexpensive that's a really great way to go so anyways I don't want to get on too big of a rabbit trail because I have a lot to do so that is all rising all of those batches of things is rising right now and it takes about I would say six hours it's a really warm day today so usually um, if it's warm then things rise a lot faster and you can make things faster a friend of mine also let me borrow her rug cleaner so I am going to be doing that and I think I'm also going to clean our couches while I'm at it so that's going to be a project in and of itself I'm not going to stand here with the whole list but those are some of the things I'm going to be working on and these are the type of videos that I personally enjoy the most when there's a variety of different things going on and it gets me inspired and really motivated. Before we get started though I wanted to let you know that this video is sponsored by Skillshare and I've worked with Skillshare before. For me personally they have been my all-time absolute favorite brand to work with just because of what it is and how it works. So basically they are online classes that you can take to learn all kinds of new skills. Things from being like more productive which I have loved you know learning how to plan out your day so that you can be more productive and get more done right now I'm taking a class by Aaron Boyle that's called everyday minimalism and it's just talking about how to simplify your life and just be more productive with less things for less than ten dollars a month which you cannot put a price on learning new things and expanding your mind you have access to so many different kinds of classes you can even learn how to do sourdough which is what I'm working on today um, they have recipes on there that are new ones that I haven't tried yet that I really want to try the website is super user-friendly there's discussion boards reviews of each class so you can check those out before you even take the class you can also save classes into lists so that you can refer back to them there's art classes music even learning other languages so when you're done watching this video, don't forget to hit the link in the description box to try out Skillshare. You guys won't regret it. And I know I'm so excited about it. I love using that website and I know you will too. I wanted to come out here and give you guys a quick little update on this palm situation from my video the other day. So it's standing up even straighter than it was the other day. And I did give it some plant food and it's been raining off and on today and sunshiny. So it is getting all the good stuff that it needs and I think it's gonna revive I really do it's doing really well and then I put this one into that pot that I had gotten the other day and it looks so awesome I do need to run to the store a little bit later and I'm gonna grab a little more potting soil because it needs just a little bit more in there but it's gonna work out great in the dining room I'm gonna take it back inside after a while is living its best life out here right now. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and pick up the living room so that I can start doing the carpets. It's kind of a whole process doing the carpets just because you have to go over it a couple times and I'm not moving furniture. Um, I think I'll probably only do that about once a year, like really remove everything, but I since there's so much carpet in this house, which I'm hoping one day, um, if we purchase this house, all the carpet will get ripped out of it and we will be putting like LVT down or something like that but for now I really have to maintenance this carpet you better turn up you better be there when I shake watch me rocking if I can't stop if I should fall just go ahead 
took the cover off of this and feathers fell out all over the floor so I'll have to vacuum that but before I do the carpets I'm gonna go over the couches I talked about doing this before and then some of you let me know this is actually how you clean your couches so I'm gonna give it my best shot I grabbed one of my Enviro claws uh, I get questions about the colors and stuff so I have probably I don't know a handful of these graphite colored ones I just prefer this color just because it hides dirt and stuff like that so I've got this wet and I'm going to rub it in a circular motion over the upholstery and just work through it that way and then I figured if I run into anything I can't get out I'll just use the carpet cleaner on the upholstery for any tough spots. also when I'm done wiping everything down I'm going to go over it with my linen spray which is basically the Norwex odor eliminator this is in the fresh rain scent I really love this one I've tried this one and the linen something I can't remember the exact name of it but they both smell really good but this one's definitely my favorite so you dilute it down and then I'll just mist over the couches when I'm done With this gray couch, I ended up actually doing a more back and forth, up and down motion because that's the way that the fibers on the couch were woven in and that's what got the cleanest result. But this is amazing. I never tried this before. Like I said, I had subscribers tell me that this is how they clean their couches with an Enviro cloth and it really did get it clean. And the part that I like about it is that it's not making it super wet like it would with the rug cleaner and this one thing I don't like about using rug cleaners on upholstery is I feel like it really makes it almost too wet so from now on I'm just gonna be doing it like this Got this feeling I'm feeling you could be the one I see no reason why I should ever let you go mm -hmm. I don't wanna wake up if I'm dreaming because you know I can't get in Corey is not home from work yet today and I realized that the rug cleaner is in the back of the vehicle that he has. So I'm going to try to be productive until he gets back. So I'm going to do some bacon and ham and I don't know just kind of some of the stuff we have around the house on this pizza tonight instead of making an extra run before dinner to the store. So I'm going to fry this up now. Just remember anytime you're cutting veggies or even meat like this, anything, I like to stick any extra I have into the refrigerator for omelets. It's already cut up for you and you don't have to waste any. Oh, and I took this little clip just to prove that Corey does do a lot of housework around the house. I know that I get comments about whether or not he helps me out sometimes and he really does and I generally don't even have to ask him. He just picks it up and goes. Without you, baby, without. 
here is my pizza dough. I've been letting it rise. I think it could rise a little bit longer, but we need to eat dinner. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it out, get it out. Um, it actually, I think if I read the recipe correctly, is two cookie sheets of this size. I did not realize how big this was. So I'm thinking the other one I'm gonna do into like cheesy breadsticks, that kind of thing. It's from a blog called Venison for Dinner. I really like her. She has a great Instagram uh, page and is really fun to follow. They have their own farm and stuff. I'll leave the link for that below and I am hoping this turns out. It smells really, really good. Tell me what you want to do. I think we're part of something bigger. And now my mind is filled with you. Oh, you know, oh, you know, oh, you know. Oh, you know, oh, you know, oh, you know. Baby with a... So we ate some dinner and it's really storming outside, but I am going to run to the store really quick just to pick up a few things. I'm just gonna run to Publix and get um, some cornmeal to make my English muffins and a few other things. The pizza was so good. We all loved it so much. And I think I can perfect it a little bit, but to be honest, like I asked Chris, like, is there anything you don't like about it? And he said, no, that he really liked it. So I'm excited to start making pizza on like Friday nights and stuff. And know that it's healthy and it's something that doesn't bother his stomach he seemed to be okay on it I'm gonna ask him again whenever I get back how his stomach feels just since he's gluten sensitive um, and there are some people that are gluten sensitive that can do sourdough but I'm gonna stop rambling and get moving I got everything that I needed from Publix they had water on sale I got my like cold brew coffee and I did find cornmeal I also grabbed us some kivada and some kombucha those are like fermented drinks I do make my own but my batch is not that big and it's slowly getting bigger but we drink it just as fast as I make it and then have time in between where we still need some more. So I just picked us some up plus I can reuse the bottle to make my own. So here I have one of my Norwex covers. I love these things because they help save on saran wrap 
And this is my English muffin dough. And I'm gonna get it out. I need to get some flour. I'm going to cut it out with this three inch round cutter. I'll leave the recipe I'm following below, but you do need cornmeal for the bottoms of them. I'm gonna cut them out so that they can do their second rise. Okay, I am finally getting to do this carpet. Um, I love this machine. It does an excellent job. It's a spin scrub 50 from Hoover and I, it really just does a great job. And then what I do, I actually put in some powdered Norwex detergent and I would say maybe about half a scoop per tank, something like that. You really don't need much. You could do even less than that. I'm probably overshooting by even that much. Then this time I'm also going to try out putting a little bit of the odor eliminator in the tank as well. You can kind of guess off of how big your tank is and just however much you think you should use. I'm gonna kind of experiment with it as I go. I will be sure to leave the link for this machine below. Like I said, it is my friend's and I do borrow it from her. I need to just get one myself because they really are not that expensive. At least this particular model isn't and it does an excellent job. You can get it on Amazon and I think it ships pretty quickly from what I saw. So this time around was the first time and I only did the water setting, so like the rinse setting. I wasn't adding any soap in. I was just kind of getting the carpet wet and then I went over it um, with the soap setting twice. So a lot of the little spots and stuff you see came out then whenever I did the soap setting. Another thing I did is in between the washes, I would go around and just spot treat a little bit to help loosen up any extra dirt. The girls just had a snack of all of this and it is seriously so delicious. This is the first time I've had this bread turn out this good and um, it's definitely sandwich size and it's soft. It was really hard on top whenever I pulled it out of the oven but I took a stick of butter and ran it over the top of it and now it's soft and it's gonna be super delicious in my husband's lunches and all of that. I'm really excited about that and then this is how the English muffins turned out completely perfect the only thing I would change about them is they are a little small so I'm going to make them bigger the next time but we had sliced those in half put butter on them and then we were eating them with apple butter oh my goodness so good you cannot beat these I mean I have never had homemade English muffins like this and they beat store-bought any day so I just wanted to give you a little update on how everything turned out in case you guys want to try out these recipes yourself okay it is a long while later. <laughs> um, I just felt like refilming and filming me going over this um, multiple times was kind of silly or pointless. So I just went ahead and kept going. Um, but I did a rinse cycle on it first. And then I did two wash cycles. And then I went through and just kind of like went over all of it again just to make sure that as much water was sucked out of it as I could. And this is probably my fourth time using the Norwex 
laundry detergent in a carpet cleaner and it always impresses me it always does such a great job and there are some places in this carpet that will never be forgivable I mean like it is an older carpet but I'm still impressed at how much it pulls out no matter what machine I'm using because I've used it in multiple different machines um, anyhow but I feel so much better and so good I always love how fresh carpet feels and um, after this I'm always like saying that nobody's ever gonna wear shoes in the house ever 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 again <laughs> um, and it never sticks of course but at least this much is done and I think over the next day or two I'm gonna do like some other rooms in the house after such a long day, I completely crashed and fell asleep and never filmed an end clip for this. So thanks so much for watching. I hope that this video motivated you to get up and get whatever you need to get done today. And if you're new here, I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel. I put out three videos a week and just do a lot of homemaking, motherhood, um, home decor, DIY, that kind of content. Also, give this video a like for me, leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys in my next video.